Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Rad Kutzarot and this is going to be Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon and uh, Taurus Rising monthly tarot reading for November 2018 and while I'm shuffling the cards uh, I want to remind you once again that this is just a general reading for Taurus' star sign and it is not your personal reading uh, therefore I will do my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy uh, in the spread to follow but it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation now if you want me to do that for you well that will be a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there we are um, <clears throat> you can see the full list of my services as well as their pricings also if you find this report helpful and you want to know more about Taurus's month specifically career or and relationship not or but and relationship uh, you can purchase the extended monthly tower reading in which we are to do choose spread relationship and career reading for Taurus and that video can be purchased for just $1.49 from my website once again or from the link listed down below in the description of the video. So that being said, we are having five card tarot spread here and uh, the first card is going to be about the topic of your month. We do have the Queen of Wands. So uh, this is a very heavy card on action. So what the card says is that you are going to be very successful into your business and into your uh, into your career field. And when it comes to interactions, you know, connections, relationships, you are going to be very magnetic. So you are going to attract people throughout this month. Therefore, if you are lonely, single, you know, or you basically need a change of scenery here uh, from one person to another uh, this is a, a excellent month for you to do so just go out spend time among crowd crowds etc etc for example if you are a lonely lady just going out alone in a bar is gonna um, guarantee you at least a couple of people you know asking you out for a date so just you, you you should not be shy here about shy here excuse me but rather you you need you need to shine don't forget that the queen of wands is also very um how can i say it? uh it it has that knack for enjoying life so uh, if you are moody all the time or kind of you give expression to your bad mood etc etc that will repose people from you either career or either relationship so you have to put a brave smile even though within you are not feeling that well so you can attract people in your life that is when it comes to interaction and when it comes to career this card points that you all will have acute business sense here you are to utilize your resources very care very carefully and uh, it is unlikely that you are going to start feeling shortage of it. Also, uh, searching for a new job, this card kind of offers you guys a, um, how can I place it, a, a time or energies which you are to be taken very seriously from some companies should you apply for a job and should you be called on an interview. That's why if you want to sw swap your job, maybe now in November, Taurus says it is time for you to start searching for. Uh, the next card here that we do have, this is going to be the intentions that you should adopt throughout the month. We do have the world card, so that is about completion here. You have to aim to finalize ongoing projects uh, relationships that are lingering for example if uh, you and your ex are uh, keeping in touch with one another this card encourage you to kind of reach closure there I mean that doesn't mean that you have to um, cut off communications but it means that you have to make your ex aware that you have no intentions for future relationship or you want to be together either of those I mean you need to reach closure you need to kind of put clearance upon the situation here so the others or the situation itself can take um, bigger heights and uh, additionally doing so finalizing projects or just settling down these agreements here or just you know 
reaching closure is going to grant you more personal liberty uh, and independence as well is going to allow you to see upon uh, the world with different eyes and you are to see Tauruses that you have new perspectives and what we said here about the Queen of Wands is that utilizing those new perspectives it's about you know attracting new people or new situations and on top of that you know performing flawlessly in it the next card that we do have this is going to be the challenges which are causing predicaments and oh my we do have the nine of wands the, the ten of wands excuse me so you will have just so much time i mean the day is just 24 hours and not more so that card itself speak for a, a you are going to be torn apart from multiple people multiple projects to take on and um you know kind of like uh, the the right for for one to make choice it's a wonderful it's a wonderful thing only if one can make that choice that's why this card points that you should not involve yourself in any kind of obligations and restrictions if you don't have to don't sign contracts if you don't have to don't uh, give promises if you don't have to because you are going to be kept to your word i mean you will not be able to just simply walk away when you lose interest or when you see that uh, the situation is no longer benefiting you in any way and you will have yeah, a lot of people here and a lot of situations will approach you uh, and um, that's why your acute sense of either human nature or business should kick in and you should not be afraid to say no especially if you are if your life number is number three here i am allowing myself to use a little bit numerology especially if your life part is um, is number three this is from a, a great I can't say danger, but you have affinity to be unable to say no, and you have to learn to do so because that could could tie you very strongly to a um, let's say uh, a contract with lack of benefits. So it's kind of like a noxious um, contract or a uh, friendship, or for example, dating with a person that you don't like but because you are afraid to say uh, to hurt them by saying that you don't like them you know you may continue on dating with them and the only thing that you are going to do is just wasting time so that's why uh, the the biggest enemy that you are going to have throughout the montauruses is the time and which activity you have to involve yourself in as we said that you are to have a lot of new perspectives here as soon as you uh, reach a completion a closure excuse me or finalize projects the next card is the resources that you can capitalize on that is the princess of swords or the page of swords so the resource is the ability to uh, make cleaning and under cleaning i mean to clean your social environment from noxious people to clean your um a career environment from useless projects and also the power of your mind you have to kick with that uh undependable thought undependable thinking that brilliance which your mind could create regarding relationships and regarding career also this card points that you can utilize on your per perfect communicational skills especially when you are involved in rangos i mean according to this card you should you should not have any problem whatsoever to take the upper hand and really um, I don't like to use that word but to destroy your opposition just with words and uh, that may involve you twisting and bending rules and truths but not speaking lies that is important and uh, like a politicians for example the politicians are twisting and bending laws and truths and they're always right at the end so you are going to, you are going to be uh, like this or likewise and uh, that makes that makes me think if a politician is Taurus and watching that video they should be uh, you know quite happy that this is going to be a, a fantastic month for them 
Uh, and the last card that we do have, this is the final outcome that we that uh, you are to experience or what will be the result of all that. We do have the Ace of Pentacles, which strengthens further success into one business and harmony into one relationship. The Ace of Pentacles is the card of wealth and everybody defines way, wealth in a different way. I had one comment saying wealth is wealth. Uh, well, in, in modern days, uh, wealth is considered to be money, treasure, you know. But to me, wealth is freedom for you guys. For some of you guys, it could be health. For others, it could be family. So at the end, you are going to have wealth. Well, that depends what you are working toward. That is a, a clear sign that what you are working at the start of the month and throughout the month at the end is going to be successful. And not just that, but it's going to be just a milestone. You can further your success, all right? So if it is about relationship, here we are seeing the dating, all right? While you are closing an old one, and of course it's going to be a little bit uh, difficult for you to maintain the contact with that person but at the end of the day by saying what you really really think about the relationship that will further it with a, a possibility of um, you know with a possibility of even making it a long lasting one or why not a marriage here i'm just giving you one way of interpreting these cards you know it depends on your personal situation here again but yeah you tauruses at the end are about to uh consolidate and stabilize your situation either into your career or either into your relationship life so that being said guys this was your uh, monthly tarot reading for November 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, Tauruses. And again, this was just a, a general reading for Taurus star sign. And it was not your personal reading. Therefore, uh, I did my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards, um, their synergy in the spread. But it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. If you want me to do that for you, well, that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings and once again if you find this report helpful and you want to know even more about your career and about not yours but uh, the uh, your star signs career and relationship path throughout the month uh, you can purchase the extended monthly tower reading in which we are to check both of them and uh, that could be made from my website just for dollar 49 that being said rat signing out now see you next time bye